In this video, we'll introduce the Laplace transform and uh, present some of its uh, more useful properties in the context of ordinary differential equations, which will give us another method to solve uh, general order uh, differential equations, not just second order. So the Laplace transform of a function f of t is defined by the following integral. So you take an integral from zero to infinity of your function times this, uh, what's sometimes called the Laplace factor e to the minus st. And by convention, we typically denote the Laplace transform of a function by its capital. And it depends on this variable s. So in the case, for example, where t is time, we say that we go from the time domain into the Laplace domain, which is the S domain. You'll notice that the Laplace transform looks very similar to the Fourier transform, except that the integral starts at zero and the exponential term is not complex. Uh, the properties that are most useful uh, for us in the context of ordinary differential equations. So the following property of Laplace transforms LP. It's useful, it plays a very important role for us. And that is the if you know the Laplace transform of a function f of t, which we'll call capital F of s, then the Laplace transform of the derivative of that function is given by s times the Laplace transform of the function f minus that function evaluated at t is equal to zero. And again, in the context of differential equations, this would be your initial condition. Initial condition. If you look at the Laplace transform of the second derivative, this is equal to s squared Laplace transform of f of t minus s times your original function evaluated at t is equal to zero minus the derivative of your function evaluated at t is equal to zero. And in general, although we're going to limit uh, ourselves to these first two cases, because we're gonna restrict our application to second order differential equations. In general, the Laplace transform of the nth derivative of the function is s to the power n, capital F of s, this is to the minus n minus one, f of zero minus s to the power of n minus two. The derivative of lowercase f evaluated at t is equal to zero minus a bunch of other terms. And then you end with the n minus one derivative of f evaluated at t is equal to zero. And this property will become hugely useful to us because it will allow us to transform a differential equation like this into an algebraic equation uh, that involves powers of s. Then the idea will be that you go from your original domain into the Laplace domain, solve the resulting algebraic equation, 
and then revert back to your original domain. And for that, we need the inverse Laplace transform, which will denote by L to the minus one of F of S. which will give you back your original function f of t. Uh, you can generally compute the inverse of plus transform using complex integration. For our purposes, we're going to uh, resort to tables of inverse Laplace transforms. So these tables uh, show several commonly occurring uh, forms that you encounter in differential equations in the Laplace domain, and it gives you uh, the solution to the inverse Laplace transform. And we'll see that more clearly uh, in an example in the following video. So, Again, to emphasize the advantages of the Laplace transform, it lets you go from a differential equation, which is generally difficult to solve, into an algebraic equation, which is usually uh, easier to solve. We won't really see it in these videos, but the Laplace domain uh, also offers a lot of insight into the dynamics of the system based on where the, uh, the poles on the roots of your, uh, the solution in the Laplace domain looks like. but we won't really look at that. So don't worry too much about that. And finally, one of the most powerful advantages of the Laplace transform is it allows us to deal with discontinuous functions that are sometimes useful in modeling certain things. And one particular example is the heavy side function, which is often denoted by H of X, which is equal to zero if X is smaller than zero and it's equal to one if X is bigger than or equal to zero. And in the next video, we'll see an example where we use the heavy side function to model uh, turning a switch on in a circuit and using the Laplace transform to solve the resulting differential equation.